Digital Dispenser, Antipenny by some. And I'm reading you a story from NGC's Children's Bogus Lit Pets Storytelling Caravan. The name of the story I'm about to read is called How Kevin and Aurora Won the Poetry Competition, written by children of Porto Spain. The National Library of Trinidad and Tobago decided to have a national poetry competition in which contestants had to write about preserving the environment. Kevin was a Grenadian boy with a short grass who had moved to Trinidad and lived with his mother. His father worked in environmental conservation in Grenada. Kevin wasn't your average boy as he loved the environment and wrote poetry about it. In fact, Kevin loved writing so much that from a class of 17 children, he got chosen to go to the national competition. Here's a bit of Kevin's piece. Shout it! Pollution, pollution, in the solution! Help out! Picking up garbage is a good contribution. Nice, huh? Kevin was very excited about the, about the competition. On the way to Port of Spain to take part, he saw a travel poster offering a tour to Grenada. And he remembered the hurricane that caused his family to run to Trinidad and Tobago. Hmm. At the National Library, he was told he would be partnered with someone selected at random. The judges wanted to see how the contestants could work together and to know that the winner would be able to work well with other people. Aurora was nine years old and a Chinese dogler, meaning she had Chinese, African and Indian blood in her. She lived with her parents in Aranguez. From a young age, Aurora's parents recognized her love for nature and also her care of animals. And every Saturday, they let her walk her dog around the Arangwe savanna. One day, as Aurora walked her dog, she observed the plastic, metal, paper, and glass recycling bins. She watched people playing football, basketball, flying kites, and buying doubles. Aurora also noticed some pretty birds chirping, like the Kiskidi and Sam, and felt inspired to write a poem. Here's a piece of it. Plastic things are for plastic bins, paper for paper dust bins, paper clips and cans for metal bins, and glass for those glass recycling bins, and things. The rhyme won her place in the final competition. On her way to the competition, traveling in a maxi to Port of Spain, they passed sapodilla, avocado, mango, and coconut palm trees. Aurora was very excited. Upon arriving at the National Library, however, she saw the crowds of people gathered for the NGC's Bocas Lit Fest, and Aurora was excited. She, she, she turned to nervously to her parents. They left her with the children's library and went off to hear a famous author speak. She waited patiently. And soon the judges pulled names from a hat. Kevon was to be partnered with Aurora. They talked about many things for the poem and they, they, that helped relax her and they set about working on their piece. Some of the competing poets spoke about deforestation, sea pollution, oil spills, air and noise pollution, and even endangered animals. The two children decided to write about the scarlet ibis, the carony swamp, hunting and litter. Eventually, they came up with their piece. It began. <clears throat> there once was a scarlet ibis who lived in the Karani swamp. His home was threatened by bottles and cans and lots of other junk. It told the story of a talking scarlet ibis who knew he was 
the national bird of Trinidad and Tobago and about how he spoke to children who visited the swamp. In the end, the children spread the message of caring for the environment. No one else in the competition had written on the national bird and the Karani swamp and its importance. And the judges all agreed. Kevin and Aurora deserve to win. It was indeed a great day for the children as even Kevin's father came from Grenada to the competition. Quick crack, wire bend, 